cervical cancer is cancer of the cervix so in other words is the cancer that starts in the cells that lines the cervix the cervix is the mouth of the womb is the mouth of the uterus so when we are talking about cervical cancer we are talking about cancer that starts in the mouth the cells that are lining the mouth of the womb the womb is what is usually called the uterus so the cancer that starts in the uterus itself in the womb is called uterine cancer or in other words cancer of the womb the cervical cancer is a cancer that starts in the mouth of the womb the cells that lines the mouth of the womb which is the cervix cervical cancer takes many years to develop it's not a cancer that develops usually overnight and when it's starting to develop it starts it as precancer cells precancer lesions that after many years if nothing is done they can turn into cervical cancer and it is the most common for a uh, cause of cervical cancer and close to 99.7 percent according to new studies it, it contributes to cervical cancer it is a sexually transmitted disease as i have said you can get hpv through sexual intercourse unprotected sexual intercourse you can get it through anal sex through oral sex or through intimate skin to skin contact and the only way you can prevent HPV is by protected sex, by having less sexual partners, and by being faithful to one sexual partner also as well. And um, HPV is the main cause of cervical cancer, and this makes cervical cancer one of the most highly preventable types of cancers. Looking at the information and studies we have, HPV contributes to close to 99.7% of cervical cancer cases, but cervical cancer is one of the most highly preventable and treatable forms of cancers by having less sexual partners, by using protection, and by going for a pap smear, you can prevent yourself from cervical cancer. Pap smear is a screening procedure for cervical cancer. During a pap smear, we will be able to pick up any precancer cells or lesions that might turn into cervical cancer in the future. So it is important, ladies, to go for your annual pap smears so that we can be able to pick up any precancer lesions so they can be removed before they turn into cervical cancer. You can go to your doctor, you can go to the nearest clinic, or you can contact the Cancer Association of Namibia for your pap smears. It's very important, every sexually active woman should have an annual pap smear.